Hey everyone, it's Eric with FirearmTutorials.com and today we're going to look at the Aimpoint Micro H1 on an HK UMP. Here's the problem I'm having. I guess it's not necessarily a problem, but something I wanted to address. Um, if we go ahead and look at the sights on this gun, right, the factory iron sights, it's kind of a two, two part deal. So you've got an aperture type sight there and if you fold it down, it's more like a pistol where you're matching the front blade um, against uh, a notched section in the back. Now this Aimpoint Micro uh, H1 I have on here has an arms mount, which is not my favorite, but it's what I had. And um, you see that's basically puts the optic in the lowest position it can be on the rail. Now if you look at the rest of the gun, you'll see that the rail is raised a little, a little bit off the top of the gun. And then when we look at the front sight, um, you see I've got a little uh, gold notch on there. Now what I'm going to do is to address this issue. Now when you look through here, the way the camera focuses it looks a little different, but you'll see that the dot is present in the middle of the optic, but it basically is going through the top of the front sight, I guess the front sight hood, if you will. Okay, so to get this out, there's just a little roll pin here. It's real easy. We can take it out just by tapping it here. There you go, it comes right out. So now it'll just lift right out and uh, let's go ahead and put this in the vise. Okay, so for this portion, I'm just gonna use a hacksaw. I'm gonna try and get the teeth started in here so I can try and keep the straightest cut that I can. This doesn't have to be perfect. It's not critical that this be done at all. This front piece is only like $15. So if at any point down the line, I decide that I don't like this, I can always put a, another one in real easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this to get this started. I'm gonna try and stay out of the way of the camera. But what I wanna do here is dig the teeth in first to try and get a nice even cut, a nice straight cut. Try and put some of my body weight on it here. But uh, this is still going to be fairly difficult to do because of the angle that I'm at. All right, so that's not bad. That's a good start. Now that I've got a, a little notch in it, it should be much easier to go through. But the trick here is just to take your time. I'm in no rush here. What I don't want is a real jagged looking uh, cut. So obviously this being some soft polymer, there's no need to break out a Dremel or anything like that. This is just a real simple cut. And just like doing anything with a hacksaw, you kind of want the saw itself to do the majority of the work, which is why I'm trying to take some real long strokes here. Okay. Okay, so I didn't do too hot. I didn't do as well on this side slipped a little bit here and I did nick the inside of the front sight but it's nothing that almost good as new with a with a nice file so this is just a a real fine file that I'll just use across the edges here to kind of smooth things out from a functionality standpoint we're still fine
All right, so here's the finished product. Doesn't look, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, to the untrained eye, you know, if you didn't know this gun, you probably wouldn't notice it, especially being black. But, uh, you know, it looks pretty good, and that only took me, you know, five, ten minutes. So I think I did a decent job as far as getting it pretty even. Okay, so our last step is to put it back in. Um, as far as the scratches on the side, I guess if I had to do it over again to prevent it, I could have put some electrical tape there. Would have uh, at least reduced the amount of scratch I had there, but no big deal. Um, we go to put this guy back in, just make sure that the uh, flat part of the front post is towards the shooter. You can put it in this way, but it doesn't seem like it really uh, lines up correctly. I don't know that you'd be able to get the, the roll pin back in correctly, so. Just line it up here. I'm going to use a, a soft hammer here just in case I end up hitting the gun. It doesn't put a gouge in it. And for the last part, I'll just follow it up with the pin here. There we go. So now it's installed. Let's go ahead and check the sight picture. All right, so you can tell that looks a lot better. We're now kind of focusing right over the top of the dot, basically where the front sight post would be. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.